Hello, dear ones, it's Alice. Uh, there was a topic I wanted to talk to you about. It has to do with uh, healing the emotional body, body and recognizing the wounding of the emotional body. And it's kind of a, I mean, it's a little bit humorous because of the take I had on it uh, when it first happened. Um, I had two visions and they really frightened me. <laughs> and. Uh, and just today I had an illumination about these visions that puts it all in kind of a, a less um, scary context. And so I thought I'd, I'd let you know about what happened. Uh, I had a, I had a, a person, I, I fell asleep one, one uh, Saturday and I woke up in the middle of the night and there was a person, it looked like a demon fiercely angry demon uh, like towering over me and and that it looked uh, kind of like it had the form of somebody that I knew and I knew it was somehow related to that person it was like the outline of the physical form was the same but the look was younger and more vi how do you say it manly and uh, the features were like contorted with rage and the body that I saw in the vision had dark like blotches all over it, big dark blotches, as if it were a person whose parts of, parts of their body were um, like, um, what do you call it, um, putrefying or, or, you know, when the flesh rots, that it's what it looked like, big blotches of like dark, black bruising or, or putrefaction. Anyway, it terrified me. <laughs> and so, so because I related it to this one person, uh, I, I, I took pains to avoid that person from then on. <laughs> I was terrified. And so then, uh, in November, I had another vision as I was coming back to Los Angeles, and that was of, of a woman that I knew of I knew of her and uh, but I didn't know her and I had a vision of her uh, in the place where she normally is uh, uh, where she she was standing at night and a, a person about her size but looking very different with straight dark hair and older than her and her again, her features were contorted in like cunning and uh, and uh, jealousy, and it was gruesome. Uh, kind of stepped sideways out from the top of her body, and I could see again this kind of a mottled darkness of the um, uh, as if there were putrefaction of the body that was there, and or. Um, bruising, deep bruising and big blotches of bruising all over. And so so I'm thinking, oh my gosh, what is this? Is this demons? What is going on? These people are possessed. <laughs> you know, I'm going, what is going on? And I I continue to think along those lines for a long time. So finally this morning <laughs> I'm going over it one more time. I'm going, oh my God. <laughs> and it finally occurred to me that what I had seen was the emotional body of these people, which was deeply wounded, deeply wounded emotional bodies, and that the dark spots that I saw were, were the instances of emotional wounds that they had incurred over the incarnations and probably that had multiplied on them, upon themselves time and time again through the incarnations. And that the, the, uh, like the rage or the, the cunning or the jealousy that I saw, these were um, negative emotions that are, that are need to clear for the ascension process to proceed. And from that, I deduced that I also have similar emotional body wounding and that probably everybody I know and that I hear speaking on the clairaudient plane uh, in a negative context has similar soul wounding. Now, I'd like to say it's, it's very extensive. It's maybe a, a, a third to a fifth. Mm. 
a fourth to a fifth of the actual emotional body is involved, in, at least in these two cases, in soul wounding. Which puts me in mind of what Daniela Breen has been talking about, uh, soul wounding and how extensive it is and so forth. So I'd like to encourage you to read her, uh, to look at her videos. They go back three pages back if you click to the bottom of, of YouTube, Daniela Breen, and, and learn what you can about soul wounding. So, uh, and also if you get the chance, if you're a lady, uh, you could sit in on some of her, her calls, or if you're a guy, you might be able to talk to her separately. Um, so, uh, because that's her specialty, soul wounding, and I suspect it's very close to emotional body healing. All right. So I wish everybody the best of luck in the regeneration chambers of New Earth and a quick soul healing and integration of a healthy emotional body. So, Y'all take care. <laughs>